Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. So today, I'm going to be showing y'all the DMs that DeJounte Murray sent me. Um, he was upset about my YouTube thumbnail and he wrote me. He wasn't over, no respectful stuff. He didn't ask nicely, so no, I did not remove it. And I'm not going to remove it and I'm not going to stop talking about him. Whenever he's relevant, he's going to be posted on my page. Just like any other blog because it's called Fair Use. It falls under the Fair Use Act if he doesn't want me to talk about him or use his name for my likeness on my channel under the fair use law that he can send me a cease and desist in the mail thank you anyways so i made a youtube video i didn't say nothing bad i will put the link to the youtube video in the description box below so y'all can go see it if you have already seen it and basically i just put in there a live where Jania was talking about DeJounte's relationship with Casey and you know how he still knows who his dad is he knows DeJounte is not his dad or whatever well the title of the video was Jania talks about her boyfriend's relationship with her son Casey or something like that actually I have a screenshot of the YouTube video right here. It says, Jania discusses her and NBA young boy son's Casey relationship with her boyfriend, DeJounte Murray. And while that was the title, this was the thumbnail that got him so upset. I said, Jania talks about her and her son's relationship with his stepdad, DeJounte. Now, if you are on YouTube or if you use YouTube, as a creator, then you know that your thumbnail is the attention grabber. You're supposed to show something interesting, hence why Casey is editing that picture down there, or say something interesting in the title or in the thumbnail to bring your audience in. That is why I said what I said. I didn't say it to be disrespectful, to be funny, or none of that stuff. It's an attention grabber. Simple. And mind you, this is not some fling. Y'all been dating. Y'all on the internet post pictures of each other talking about forever. Forever is a long time, sir. That sound like stepdaddy time to me, sir. So that's why I didn't even think twice about it. Like, this is not just some random fling. I'm not just saying that about some random. That's your, that's her boyfriend. I mean, come on now. And the thumbnail gotta be what he was mad about because I had posted a video hours before I had to wait on another blog, Street Juice TV, to make that picture with Casey in it. So I didn't have my thumbnail on there for hours. I finally got the thumbnail made at 621. I made it at 621, I posted it like a couple minutes later. And the first message I got from him was at 634 p.m. Only a few minutes later, not even a full 10 minutes. He said, have some MF and respect, Goofy. You gotta be a weird ass MF in this world that get a kick out of talking about other people to get likes and views. That little boy has a whole father, and we don't get down with that stepdad shit where I come from. You people be sick and disgusting out here doing whatever for some fame. Don't ever put stepdad next to me in that kid's name, clown. So at this time, I'm in the middle of doing something, and I'm on the phone with my grandma. I see this notification pop up on my screen and I hung up on my grandma because I'm like, I just know this NBA player did not hop in my DM about a YouTube thumbnail that was not even that serious. The video wasn't even doing nothing. It only had like 300 views. I'm like, dang, that video not doing nothing compared to my other videos. Why are you one of the 300 viewers? Like, come on now, you don't got better things to be doing. Who cares what I'm talking about? My page is nothing. My page is so small. Don't worry about what I'm posting on my page. You get posted on the Shade Room, on the Neighborhood Talk, on its on site, all them other pages. Don't worry about what I'm posting on my itty bitty page compared to their millions of followers. But anyways, I said it's just a YouTube title. What the heck? I wasn't even doing that to be rude or nasty. It's a YouTube title. That's it. That's all. I'll change it. Because I'm like, okay, I can understand him being upset. Whatever. I shouldn't have said it. I'll go ahead and change it. But then, but then he had the audacity to keep going after he already had made his point And I was going to change it. And then he kept going. And now, you trying to be disrespectful. I really don't give a freak about what you're talking about. Period. He said, F that YouTube title. My point exactly. It's a YouTube title to gain views and likes, which is sick and disgusting. Have some respect. Just because I date his mother don't make me his stepfather. He has a whole father. So like I said, have respect for all of us. It's giving scared at this point. <laughs> I said, nah, I'm not changing shit because you're doing too much for real. Go sucker. 
out of all the YouTubers on YouTube making videos about y'all, you DM me. Move around. He said, yeah, because I ain't seen nothing else. And I seen you just now from someone sending it to me. And it was disrespectful. F around and get smacked in your shit in real life, softy. I said what I said. And you a clown if you keep that title for views and likes. You'll forever be a loser. I said, B, pull up then. What are you talking about? He said, if you see me in real life, let me know who you are. I said, I was going to change it, but you started being disrespectful for no reason. And I'm trying to type and drive at the same time. Like, I just wasn't talking shit fast enough for me because usually I'm quick at the mouth. He said, using a little ass kid for clickbait and views, that's clown behavior. And I said, and that's fine. I will. You're crazy if you think you're going to put your hands on me. I'm a whole girl. We don't get down like that where I'm from. And then and the next thing I said, you'll be laid out next to them folks in your bio if you know what I'm talking about. Like I said, next to them people in your bio. Why you out here threatening people? You need to up the scope. And just in case anybody try and say that the messages is fake, edited, or anything here, go screen record and you know how to watermark it up because it's a page on YouTube that's still everything I post. So here you go, sis. Still this. And I posted this on my Instagram the day it happened and I got... You know, everybody's opinion, everybody's welcome to say however they feel. I really don't care. You can have your opinion on my page. You're just not going to be disrespectful to me. Simple. But a lot of people are saying that they do understand why he might have been mad because they're not married. And people were technically only considered stepdads when they get married to the mom. And then other people are like, yeah, I did think the thumbnail was weird, but I watched the video and you literally did not call him his stepdad. The entire video didn't say anything wrong. So... What I'm saying is, if he would have asked nicely, I would have changed it. Because I don't have a problem doing that. I do that all the time for people that DM me and say, hey, I don't like what you posted about me. Can you remove that? Can you change that? Or whatever. I do it all the time. All the time. And it never makes the internet because it's not important. If you want me to take something down of you, I don't have no problem doing that. But when it's other people posting the same exact thing, I'm about to stop doing that stuff. I'm about to stop being nice. And DeJounte, you're a weirdo. I don't care. It's, it's called a blog. I could be messy if I want to. I get paid. It is what it is. Just like you get paid to play basketball, I get paid to post stuff online. You're weird. And if I ever seen you, wasn't going to do nothing to me anyways. So go pick up that ball and make it in the basket. Thank you. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in today, especially if you stay to the end of the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to go to Instagram and follow my page where I post daily and follow my Twitter as well because you know Instagram be tripping and deleting people pages for no reason. But I'm always going to be on Twitter, period.